Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I have come up with the idea of drawing Taylor Swift. It will be a little different this time. The idea is to create two different styles of Taylor Swift. So I will start off with the left hand side first with the realistic style and after that I will cover it up and then I will proceed to the right hand side for the pop-up style. And these are some great examples of uh, artwork created by masters, for example, Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein. Without further ado, let's begin. The reason that I'm drawing um, Taylor Swift this time is because she is coming to Singapore around early March for the World Tour concert. And she was definitely creating some waves in Singapore with the only stop in Southeast Asia. For me, it's, uh, I'm not going for this concert. I don't know, I just hate all the jams after the concert ended with all those crowds. I believe all the tickets are all sold out now. If you're coming to Singapore for her concerts, you can drop down in comments and let me know. And uh, maybe you can share your experience after watching her concerts. So coming back to this drawing, um, later on, at the end of it, I will review both sides of the drawing. It's something like a high-end review kind of things. I'm excited because I have done so many portraits and uh, this is my first time trying another style of pop art. It is interesting to see uh, the chemistry between the realistic and the pop art come together at a point. Okay, let me do a bit of sharing on how do you get the likeness when you do the portrait drawing. I may not be the 100% accurate when it comes to this. There is one rule that I'll always follow when I'm doing a drawing, that is to identify the landmark on the face feature. So for example, for Taylor Swift, what is the first thing that came into your mind when, when you think about Taylor Swift? I think this is very obvious that it is her red lips, right? Another feature on her face is her eyebrows. All right. She got a very delicate, uh, very subtle eyebrows that, uh, that curve from at the end of her eyelids. Okay? Make sure to put all this in. Okay? And she also has some very thick eyelashes. And how to put all this together uh, in a drawing is more about technical stuff. So I hope you get a little bit of idea what I'm trying to say here. And now on the right hand side for the pop art star. To be honest, when I tried to take the, the video on this one, I took a long time to start with. Pop up is something that you need to go with the vibrancy of the colors. It need to be sometimes very bright, very neon sometimes. And I need to forget all about the skin tone's color. At first, my intention is to use markers on this uh, pop up drawing. But it doesn't turn out well because the grey tone of paper will tone down the brightness of the markers. I'm not sure why. So immediately I switched to gouache because gouache is the opaque colours. And I feel it works well on any surface. And I think so far so good. I will continue to work on those features on her face. And I really didn't think much about how her face colours would be like. I just put in whatever colors that I think of. Mm -hmm. 
and the rest of the face I will just throw in some random shapes. And I always find the hairs at the top first to paint and draw. The best way to approach in painting hair is to create some shapes first and to work slowly and creating some strokes uh, using um, fine liner. Since I'm using the grey tone paper this time, I will use the grey color to be part of the lighting for the hair. I feel pop art is more about like creating more dramatic colors, for example, like. Uh, the neon yellow that I'm using right now and uh, some brown and some black and of course I do not want to overwork the hair portion and I will stop when, in this, when it's time and since this is my first time working on the pop art I don't have high expectation on this and um, just enjoy the process And also not forgetting to add in some outlines And I need to be mindful that because I'm not working on the watercolor paper The blending may not be that smooth Okay, I'm so excited at this revealing part. Let's see the result. Wow, what do you think guys? Can you accept this kind of art? Uh, I can see there's a little bit off at the lips, but it still looks okay. What I like most is I done pretty well on her nose. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this full video on uh, painting Taylor Swift. And see you guys next time. Bye.